Hey guys, welcome back to Fatal Frame 3. In the last part, we fought our first ghost and we woke up. Oh yeah, and now we're back here and we got some files that I want to go ahead and read. I'm not going to read all of them because I don't want to, you know, you know, make this super long. But, you know, I want to at least, I want to get you guys grounded on what we're actually dealing with. Okay, now, this is uh, the urban legend file that I accidentally missed the first page of. Okay, many of the urban legends classified as Lost Village are modeled on real incidents, such as a village was ruined when one villager massacred the others. They are often an amalgamation of well-known actual incidents, legend, and oral tradition. Settings such as the isolated mountain village or bygone customs, like night trysts or ceremonies, often act to trigger the incidents themselves, and these in turn become the motif for urban legends. The reason for the popularity of urban legends may lie in the notion of the view of the country from the city, or the modern bias toward the ancient. To people in the modern city, the village is the wilderness, and those who live there are different. People that scorn or fear, or perhaps that scorn or fear finds expression in the urban legend. For that reason, the setting of the legend must be the isolated mountain village. Further, bygone customs are attractive elements that can end up acting to provoke the incident. As a case in point, there is a story about the area around the Minakami Den where Mayu went missing. The Lost Village. In the mountains of the Minakami area, there was once a massacre in the so-called Lost Village. Years ago, on the night of a certain festival, there was a great massacre and the village disappeared from the map. Only one woman survived. If you walk in the forest where the village once lay, there is a small guardian statue. And if you continue, you will come to the shrine gate that forms the entrance to the village. If you pass through the gate, you will never return. The night of the massacre continues in this village where where day will never again break and a woman's horrific laugh rings throughout the village. Next we have the Manor of Bizarre Murders where the strange uh, tragedy recurs. Its scale is smaller, but generally speaking it resembles the pattern of the village and is made up of elements based on true incidents. Below is an example of this. It has to do with Mafiyu's appearance. The House of Mutilation in the mountain area of Himuro, there remains a manor where years ago there was said to be a massacre. There have always been vanishings in the nearby forest, and many of the spirit away are said to end up in the manor. Their corpses have been found with both hands, legs, and heads severed off. One more example is the seemingly related Manor of Sleep urban legend, which I'm researching now. The Manor of Sleep was picked up in various magazines in the 1960s, but incidents with very similar characteristics can be found here and there in older media. The newspaper, this newspaper from the early 1900s, and is of no relation to when the Manor of Sleep legend was taken up, but the background of the spirited aways and the, those people's later conditions bear many similarities to the Manor of Sleep urban legend. I'm still investigating, but these incidents may trace back to the 19th century, and I have seen legends in several folklore books that may have become the basis for the Manor of Sleep. Ugh! Okay. Yeah, I know, it's kind of painful to ground you this deeply, but it's it's important to know this stuff, because I'm the one recording the video, and I feel like forcing you to listen. Okay, letter from K2. At least this is only three pages. Dear you, during my research on the Manor of Sleep, urban legend, I finally made it to a certain deserted village lost even from the map. In this area, in, I found this camera in a huge abandoned building near that village. My niece Mio, when Mayu disappeared, she caused you a lot of trouble, so you probably remember her, saw this camera and she was scared stiff. I wonder if it reminded her of that unspeakable incident. From now, I'd like you to take care of the camera. You know about antiques, so could you look it over for me? I don't think you'll be able to reach me for a bit, but I'll contact you, so let me know what you find then. Regards, K. Alright, there we go. Both of the things I need to read out of the way. Ugh. Now, just in case you're worried about that, not barely any documents in the game are, like, more than four, three to four pages long. So, I mean, very few of them are as long as that book about the, uh, you know, the manner of sleep. But it is good to know all this stuff. It's good to at least taste the atmosphere, because you really want to get that with this game, because this is very atmosphere-heavy game. Okay, so we got the red room, and, okay, go ahead and talk to this table, and we can, this undeveloped film that we took. Remember that girl in the dream? 
image just appears as a crying woman, just as I thought I must have taken this during that dream. All film has been developed. Okay, so when you get all your film, you just go ahead and exit. And camera obscura, the abandoned house, the picture I took in my dream. Maybe if I can investigate this woman, I can find something out. Alright. So let's go ahead and take this uh, developed photo. And all you need to do is come on back through the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And there we go. Come on, hurry up. <sighs> so slow. It's slow in the house, but it's obviously a lot more interesting when you get into the dreams. Okay, now go ahead and talk to Miku. Alright, Miku, about the woman in this picture, I was wondering if you could get get to try and find out as much as you can about her. Anything is fine. Yes, well, this is a very old picture, so I found it in Yu's room. It's okay if you can't find anything out. There was just something about her. You know, she was in... Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything. Uh... Okay. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys heard that, but she said, I'll let you know if I find anything. <laughs> okay, so, after you do... Uh, okay, check with the bed. X, you can sleep. Okay, so, camera obscura. By checking the camera obscura on the desk, you can save your progress. So, when you do everything in the house that you can possibly do, the screen will blacken, and it will be nighttime again, and you can go to bed and start the next dream sequence. So that is how the game, that's how the game progresses. Okay, go and talk to the bed, because I don't feel like saving right now, and let's do it. Okay, so that segment, I need to talk about this very quickly. That segment that you guys just saw where it was all black and white and staticky and was flashing in between different images that you couldn't make out, whenever you head back into a dream, um, pay close attention to those segments because that is actually telling you the things that you need to do. So, whoa. Oh, got her. Jeez, I do not know how I got her. I have never gotten that picture before. Ugh. Anyway, um, that segment was flashing scenes of, like, those uh, little girls with their hammers and their stakes. So, ugh. There's always, like, this sense of dread that you get whenever you walk into a new room. It's like, there's gonna be something here. There's gonna be something here. <laughs> okay. Now, another thing about this game that some people would probably find annoying is the camera. As you can see, just walking in between these areas, it just shifts dynamically. Although it's not in a bad way. Um, there is no camera control. You just walk in different areas and the camera changes automatically. Now, right here, you have an item. All right, there's a piece of paper or something on the floor. Memo in shaky hand. It's not my fault. I didn't choose to survive. And there you go. See, another very short document that's only like... That's two lines. It's not even a page. Now, right here, you can't see it because of the camera, but look at Ray's head. You see, she's looking down. Right here, you get Type 14 film. Yay! And with that, you get uh, another ten shots. So... Keep your eyes open for that stuff. Very helpful. Okay. And let's run right on over here. Nice doll, by the way. Okay. Go ahead and open the door. Hurry up. Oh, frick. I didn't want to survive. Dang, mister. Okay, these the pictures of her in this area are very difficult to get. Just because she's always at the top of stairs and stuff. So I'm going to save it. 
And I guess I'll just show the saving, like, once, just because. Because I am a boring Let's Player. I'm not good. I just show saving because I... I'm not good at this. I'm a horrible Let's Player. I don't cut out saving. Whatever. I don't know. Anyway. Go ahead and get on upstairs. Something's here. Don't know what. Let me try up here. Nothing's changing. Uh, is it this way? I feel really nervous. Let me put on my good film. Aha! Here we go. Now, as you can see, the filament is growing blue. Now, this is this indicates a non-hostile ghost, just a harmless one. As you can see, we got this blue, misty stuff in front of the door, and you can barely... Oh, well, now you can see you have the little thing there. So, we're going to find out what that's all about. Take a picture with your crappy film, of course, because you want to save your good stuff. And an image of something has emerged in the photo. It seems to be a picture of somewhere else. This is how you get your indications of where you go in the game. So when you find areas like that, this is an area, basically, we need to get through this area. We need to go here. But because it's closed by that blue mist, um, you take a picture of the mist and it shows you where you need to go in order to unlock it and make it go away. So if you find a door that's locked by the mist, you are on the right track. You just need to figure out what else you need to do. Okay, now, there's something about this game that I need to address that you're, sadly enough, even though I'm going to be doing this as best as I can to um, preserve the atmosphere and the horror, you guys are not going to get one of the most, one of the most devilish things about this game. Now, I don't know if you can even hear it in the game, but when you're near a hostile ghost, um your heart beats harder, like it starts pounding. Um, now, the thing that you're not going to sadly be able to experience is when you're near a ghost and when your heart is beating, the PlayStation 2 controller rumbles in unison. And that is just so evil and beautifully thought up that, oh, I can't even begin to describe it. It is really just a terrifying thing to feel sometimes. Okay, so we have equipped an al a function, alarm. Okay, so this is a part for the obscura, or camera obscura. Okay, function, indicates the fatal frame. Here we go, now we can actually get a fatal frame. When being attacked by a ghost, the top of part of the viewfinder may flash red and an alarm will ring. This instance is a more powerful shutter chance, the fatal frame. If you shoot during the fatal frame, you can repel the ghost backwards and inflict great damage. If you take another shot while the ghost is being repelled back, you can perform the chain shot, a combo. Alright. Now, I'm relatively good at fatal frames, and right there, there is a ghost. I'm going to take a picture of him. Okay. And that little doll has disappeared now. Let's head on over here, because I'm stupid like that. Okay door. The door is locked. The keyhole is graved with a four-point well design. Okay. Voices behind the wall. We're not going to be reading all these as soon as they appear, but I guess I'll read a few. Like, I'll, I'll read this one, because I think it's pretty short. Yep, here we go. Voices behind the wall. In the, in the storage space under the stairs was a small locked door. A low, mournful moaning was coming from inside. Who could be in there? Okay, so, now that we've taken a picture of him, we can actually get moving back to where we need to go. And man, this video these videos take a long time. Like, time flies in this game. Okay, I did not even realize we're already up to 14 minutes. But anyway, maybe because of all the freaking reading... Oh, screw you. Okay. So we got a ghost. Okay. Now watch the marks. See how they're lighting up? Ah. There you go. There's a fatal frame for you. And another. 
And another. And another. Told you I'm good at those. <laughs> okay, sorry. But yeah, that is how you get a fatal frame. You just wait for the light and take a picture as soon as it appears. Okay, so the presence in front of the door is fading. And then go ahead and open it. That is the best way to fight. So I killed her in just four shots. Best way to fight. Oh. Okay. So now we got something else in here. Okay, here, let's do this. I'm pretty sure there's a harmless ghost in here before you actually get up to her. Let me see. Okay. Walk around here and get in your viewfinder from... Oh, right here. Aha! There, right there. Go ahead and take your picture from here just to be safe. Okay. And as we can see, it's that girl from before. Let's go see if she's okay. I called out, but there was no reply. A notebook or something is lying at the feet of the crouching woman. Burnt passport. Surname Takigawa, given name Yoshi. Nationality Japan, uh, Shizuoka, or Shizuoka. It has been pretty badly scorched, but I can just make out the thin traces of writing. Yoshino Takigawa, could this be your name? Woman in the photo. Uh, now what? I tried speaking to her, there's no response. Okay. I guess we'll go look somewhere else. If you should wake up. Please help me. Please wake me up. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, uh, I didn't think that dream sequence was going to go that fast. I don't remember it being that short. That's what she said. But, uh, hey, now that we're done, we have time for more reading! Okay, <laughs> sorry. The ruse appears. The pain flared up again after my dream at the empty house. Since the vision I had that day, I keep seeing the house in my dreams. The pain I felt when the tattooed woman touched me. The bruise. The dream, the house, are they connected to you somehow? Or am I just tired? You know, at this point, I don't think even I would start thinking that I was just tired. I'm pretty sure I'd think about something else. But, whatever. Anyway, uh, this is Miku's room right here. So let's... Okay, even if this is my house, I don't like to go in her room without permission. I know Miku wouldn't care at all, though. Okay, so I guess she's not in there. Let's see, is Miku down here? Because that's what we need to do. We need to find Miku. Every day, just look around the house. Generally talk to Miku and stuff. Uh, okay. Okay, I guess there's a letter here. Okay. The note's been left on the kitchen counter. Dear Ray, I've gone out to find do some research on the woman from the other day. I'll be back later this evening. Make sure you eat breakfast, okay? Miku. In addition, on the counter, counter kitchen counter, breakfast has been perfectly made. Rice balls have been prepared. Awesome. I really want to try to make rice balls one day. That'd be really fun. But then again, I don't have any sticky rice. Fine, I'll answer it probably a dang telemarketer ghost. Those guys are douches. Okay. Hello? Ray, it's Miku. I was able to get the name and address of that of the woman in the photo. Yoshino Takigawa. She's the, uh, the only survivor of a plane crash that happened the other day. I knew I had seen her before. It all came together when I asked one of the editors. It seems she's still being hospitalized. I'll tell you the location of the hospital. Yoshino Takigawa? from the hospital that she's been asleep for a long time and no one has been able to wake her.
Did you go to the hospital? Mm hmm Whoa, hey now, keep this teen, keep this teen game. I got my eye on you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, for those perverts wondering, yes, that is about as far as you get, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, no Asian porn in this game. Yeah, anyway, uh, now that we have completed our day's work for the day, um, I'm going to go ahead and end it off. And in the next part, we will do just a little bit of stuff around the house that's still available, and uh, we will go back into the dream. So, see you guys then.